Hello everyone and welcome, my Peter Pan Mofo. Today I'm bringing you a spiral slash corkscrew tutorial which includes a workaround for the new bug with the templates resetting. If the fix for the templates is what you've come for, then check for my comment with a timestamp which will take you to that part of the video. So first you need to build a spiral. There are two ways of building them, what I called stepped and smooth. So first we start with the stepped one. Once you've picked a prop with a flat surface that you want to use for a spiral or corkscrew, you need to place it down so it's straight at a right angle to the ground. So use the advanced settings to do this. Most of the time it will be 90 degrees or 270. If the flat surface on the prop is a difficult area, you may need to use a block piece as a guide. Place that down at 90 degrees, then you can figure out the angle using the block piece and adjusting the angle of the prop. When you have the prop at the right angle, Move the camera so it's looking down by pulling the right stick back till you are directly above the prop. Place it, but don't move your position. Switch to the biggest neon prop, go into the advanced position settings and move the prop down a bit. Now you can use the lines on the neon prop to center your base prop wherever you want it, depending on how wide you want the corkscrew or spiral. So the further away, the wider it's gonna get. If the neon props are facing the other way, just move it 90 degrees on the world heading in advanced settings. I always make sure I start building on zero to make this easier. If you use a smaller neon prop, that can help you line up with the lines to line up to the center of the main prop you want for the spiral. Props like the cabin, the center isn't actually in the center of the prop, so doing it by eye with that, it wouldn't put it in the center, as you can see there. So stay directly above the prop again with your camera view, Line up where the center is with the neon prop and then switch to your desired prop which will be your base prop for the template. Pick whatever you want for the different height. Cement bags, containers and cabins are all good props to use. Be careful what you use though because some props will have different hit zones once they are templated so they will lose a little bit on the bottom. So template these props up starting with the base template which in this case is the cabin. And remember to delete any unneeded props that you've used just to reach other props. Now you have a template for a step spiral. Some props you may want to add a guide prop if they don't have anything on them to guide you like the lights on the gates do. You can place a prop like a small neon block on the prop as a guide to accurately place the template and make a consistent and smooth spiral. If your main prop is really far away from your base prop, you might want to put the guide prop in between the two so you can have the camera zoomed in a bit more and place them down accurately. Just try to keep it in the center. This sort of thing will vary depending on what props you are using and what size spiral you are making. So once you have your template, position the camera so you are looking directly down again. Now you can place them down one by one to create a spiral. If you're making a corkscrew, spin left to go right and right to go left. So if you want your corkscrew to go right, you'll need to make your spiral going left. Whilst you are placing these down, do not spin the camera around as the camera doesn't spin on the center of the prop properly anymore. So this will move the main prop out of line. If you want to build it a little bit quicker, you can place 28 templates down, then make another template and do it faster that way. Get two props so you can template both the top and bottom cabins with the main props. If you have 28, just leave one of the main props out until you add both cabins. And then add the main prop once you've deleted the guide prop thing. It's a good idea to change the colour of the top main prop so it will help you line up. As you can see with this, it didn't used to be like this, but when you spin it around it doesn't line up with the bottom one to the top one. So this is why you change the colour, so you just spin it round and then try to bring it in to line it up as best you can and place it down and repeat until you've got your desired spiral. Because of this alignment, I prefer to just use the first prop and do it one by one that way without spinning the camera around and that. It takes a bit longer and it's a little bit more difficult, but I think it produces a better spiral. If you run out of props when you are doing this, because obviously you're placing two or three props down at a time, you can delete some of the centered ones and recenter using the cycle option at the bottom. Center the camera so you're looking straight down and switch to the prop number of the prop in the top of the base props. Again, unfortunately this is broken and you no longer get recentered properly on the prop like you used to before. Make sure you don't rotate the template when you are deleting the props. This way you can line it up a bit better and once you think you got it in the right place you can just carry on from that. Right, so now you have your spiral, you can now template that to turn it into a corkscrew. You used to be able to use any prop to do this, but deleting the base prop resets the template angle. 
because it's also the button to reset the template, which I don't think anybody ever uses, so they should probably take that out. So you need to use a prop that has a hollow bottom, something like the cabin, or like I prefer using the small ramp. Place it on the side so the hollow bit will be on the top when you rotate it for the corkscrew, so kind of in line with the flat side of the prop on the spiral. Having a prop that's been pitched or rotated will change the rotation angle on that prop when you use it as a base prop in a template. So since the Afterlife DLC, as soon as you place a template or prop that has been rolled or pitched, it will reset. So normally you'd be able to just place it, switch to the next one, place it, switch to the next one or whatever. But now as soon as you place the template, it resets the angle. Big shout out to Nagosk for showing me how to do this. He ended up making a video about it which I will leave linked in the description. So go check him out, he's an awesome creator. So when you place a template now, what you need to do, as soon as you hit X or A to place it, you need to change the rotation type. So as closely together you want to do this, place the template then change the type right after. So X then right on the D-pad, X and right, X and right sort of thing. As soon as you place it, press right or left on the D-pad to change. Doing this will stop the template or any prop you are placing from resetting. So do that however many times you need to and voila, you've got a corkscrew. Rockstar are aware of the problem so hopefully it will get fixed back to semi-normal soon. Ideally they fix it so you could just delete the prop like you used to be able to before but god knows when that's going to happen because the dlc is not going to be for a while so now the smooth one with the angled prop everything is basically the same it's just a setup you need to do a little bit differently so you want to get the main prop straight so it's 90 degrees or whatever some props you can change the other angle Use different settings in the advanced settings to get it at the desired angle. And again, use a base prop if you need to get it flat. If you can't spin it in the right direction, template the main prop and use a guide prop to line it up. You don't want to make the angle too much. Definitely not over 45 degrees. I can't remember what the optimum angle is, but I usually go for something around 15. If you use the template to get it at the right angle, just try your best to get the center of the prop so you can line up with the base prop. Template all that up. I tend to find the cement bag works best with these. Something else might be better for you, just make sure it's not too bumpy. I find these are a lot easier to line up because you just watch for when it comes through the top of the prop. Make a spiral like that, turn it onto the side like you did with the other one, and you have a corkscrew. So that's the two ways to make a corkscrew and a spiral. You can also use that template to build a wall ride. All you need to do is just keep deleting the base prop as you're spinning, so your main prop doesn't keep stepping up or whatever. You make a nice round wall ride. If you found the video useful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. I'm Peter Pan Mofo, thanks for watching. Peter Pan, that's what they call me. I promise that you'll never be lonely. Peter Pan, that's what they call me. I promise that you'll never be lonely. Peter Pan, that's what.